Hi Collective, how are you all? I hope everyone's great and having a wonderful day. Thank you for being here and for spending time with me. I love you guys. Alright, so let's tap in. I want to start with and let's see what messages Spirit has for the Collective. Someone is feeding into their illusions and they're disappointed because their fantasies are not their reality. They're living in a make-believe world. You took the high road, you're unbothered, you're brushing, brushing something off and moving past whatever the situation is with someone that's living in la-la land here. Somebody's turn up, they're a party animal, they're all about sex, drugs, and alcohol, and they indulge in their surface pleasures, and this person is a siren here. Sexual tactics, gaining attention, and lured by temptation. So we've got a siren. I did a reading about a siren the other day. This person's fed up. They're over it. They're not having it. They're absolutely frustrated. <laughs> and there's been a plot twist. Something unexpected. An event has occurred that created a sudden change and it's left this person shook. <laughs> Now they're skirt shitless. <laughs> they're trying to run a, an escape. They need a quick getaway. They've been acting all kinds of fucking shady, sneaking around, tiptoeing, and avoiding getting caught. <laughs> well, this person's shook because their fantasy La La Land is their understanding that it's not real. And this party animal's been tiptoeing around, trying to be all out in this siren energy having hiccups <laughs> hiccups <laughs> there's a hiccup in the plan hookups friends with benefits they're non-committal they've got multiple flings going on and some kind of they're fed up they're over it they're not having it and they're frustrated because someone is spilling the beans someone's untrustworthy the secrets are being revealed and the cat's out of the bag about somebody's little snacky snack that they were having it's an irresistible desire, physical attraction, and sex appeal that they just can't fucking resist. Well, somebody's shook to the core now. Tell me about this person, please, spirit. This person is a player, and they're fucking around with magic. They're an expert of romance. They want to live a leisurely life. They're channeling power. This person is a lost soul, so we've got a dark magician here. They're confused, they're defeated, and they're struggling right now. We have a writer. Oh, they're telling all kinds of stories. They're a major storyteller. They've been lying about what they've been communicating really crafting tales this person is a pathological liar and now they're shook because these lies are being revealed someone could end up needing a place to stay they could have lost their job be unemployed could be dealing with homelessness. Their money's fucked up. We have a father here that just fell off the deck whenever I picked this up. So this could be your father. This could be a father figure. This person is an elder. Maybe this person's going to their father because they need help. Their health is not okay getting advice from an elder regarding their health because this person has, exper has experience they're kind and they have wisdom we've got a stranger here 
even telling strangers all kinds of fucking stories could have lied to a stranger about something that happened oh, I just killed that fucking gnat hell yes hold on I killed it it's right here on the magician card so this monitoring they're sending out monitoring spirits okay that was definitely significant thank god I killed the stupid gnat no last time I had to get my body splash out and squirt its wings so it couldn't fly <laughs> I do that and I use the Febreze to kill these little fuckers damn it we've got a barber and a dancer so this could be significant someone could have just gotten a haircut someone could always have like you know make sure that their hair is always cut could be trying to in this player energy trying to look good for whenever they go out and screw around somebody could like to dance and listen to music could be passionate in bed because they can move their body like a dancer have a lot of passion going on inside it's passionate about this magic here that this father figure is doing and this can even be an ancestor that's in, that's an elder that's involved here because this person is a lost soul and they're affecting their bloodline we've got a king here this is elder that's a lost soul it's an authority figure of the family they're the monarch they rule over the family it's could have to do with an inheritance could send in some lust filled sex demon here Just try and take someone out over an inheritance could be a stranger could be someone that you don't know that um, was hired try and come in acting like they're a new friend that it's just a, a by chance encounter it just might happen to bump into this person as a passerby this person could have been sent in by this father figure here coming after a spiritual seeker earth angel light worker star being the devotee of the inner path focusing on your meditation you have a lot of insight and you practice your spirituality daily we've got a bartender here on the bottom could try and get you drunk because of a boss daddy here a master of wealth taking a risk on an investment managing a leader it's this father figure here's the boss daddy could even try and come in and act like a sugar daddy in some way We have a repairman. Someone could come in and act like they need to fix something in your house as a way to get in. Someone could come towards you trying to repair a past relationship that they ran away from, that they were the person cheated on you. We have an architect with a detective on the bottom planning and designing something a weaver of blueprints supervising the construction of something well we've got a detective here and an investigator of the truth looking for clues pursuing the clues the truth is unveiled And you could have been investigating and looking for clues. You could be this detective or there could literally be an actual detective involved here. It's a 
pull from the kipper. Clarify this player. The social light of charm, full of elegance, an expert of romance with a leisurely life. Journeying around, out running around being a fucking player. Out in these streets. Clarify homeless. Clarify homeless. A privileged lady. So someone that was well to do may end up losing it all. Got imprisonment here. The mature man and a child. So maybe someone's child, like a fa this father figure's daughter here, could end up going to prison. They're concerned. This father figure and their daughter here could be going to prison. Clarify this barber. Clarify barber. Expecting something from a barber. A barber could be getting paid something. Clarify this bartender. This bartender, we've got imprisonment, so could put something in, try and put something in someone's drink to affect their health. Could have paid someone to do this. Under clarifying the magician, we've got the courthouse in the family room so some kind of secret magic going on by this father figure here regarding a court situation family secrets they don't want family secrets getting out this dancer we've got an official person here this person could be an official person in the community and this boss here is a wealthy man in the community yeah now they're concerned Clarify this lost soul. A lost soul. They could have literally lost their soul. Lost their job. And they, someone could be crossing over. Because they're defeated and they're confused. They don't know how. This elder. This masculine here could be an older. This father figure could be an elder. He's older in age. Clarify this king. This authority figure trying to roll over your inheritance. We got a mature woman and a king. So this could be like a mother and father here. Something serious is getting ready to change in their life regarding sudden wealth because they're being seen as false people. It has to do with something that they've done to their child. Right back to this official person. So this repair man is coming. An official person from the courts is coming in to repair something here. This is always my detective, and it lands right on the on the writer card. They're all in their thoughts because all these stories that they were crafting with all this communication that they so thought they so expertly polished. They're a weaver of tales. They're all in their thoughts and fucked up now. They could have paid a stranger to journey towards you to try and come in and act like they were a new friend to try and come in and be in a lover situation here with the Divine Collective as the spiritual seeker. Clarify this architect. What are they planning to design? What are they designing? Someone's blueprints of their property could be significant, or the blueprints like a property could be significant. A new investment. Something going on with some kind of construction in the home. This architect, this privileged lady's all in their thoughts about whatever this plan was that they concocted. It's all about a great fortune. 
paying people to keep these secrets hidden. They've received a message of concern about stealing a gift that could be a property or finances here. It's a lot of money. They stole a lot of money. Someone could be getting a, a message that someone has crossed over. A father figure here could pass away. And if that's the case, my condolences. They're in despair regarding sudden wealth here. There's a couple here that's under investigation. They're getting ready to go into a state of poverty. They're going to be homeless. And it has to do from what they wow this main female divine feminine divine masculine you flip this how it resonates but you something that happened to you to where you should have received sudden wealth as a child and these false people here kept your great fortune from you and they were false people to the court we've got a main male here who's very concerned because they're a thief and the courts know that they're a thief and they've got a message from the court that uh, they're going to be going to prison regarding this theft of this property this man could pass away in their home and the courts you're protected in the courts they're saying that these people are thieves and you're held in high honor this wealthy man could be sending this main mail here a message of concern. This could be an attorney or something. And whoever they're in a cup in a partnership with, that their jobs are getting ready to be affected. This couple could have been seen as being held in high honor in the community. And they were working really hard to block your pathway. All of this, this detective is investigating this great fortune here. Trying to find the truth and clues regarding this situation. Evie's snoring. <laughs> He's not you sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my meditation music came turned off. I had to put a new one on. <laughs> What do we need from this deck? Someone is mentally and emotionally unstable right now because they're no longer being seen as being held in high honor and you are being seen as being held in high honor. There's an ice queen that's very abusive towards you. Or was very abusive towards you. This could be a mother figure here. Divine feminine. Divine masculine. You could be getting a message. You could be expecting a message. You could be thinking about this a lot. Or someone is concerned and all up in their thoughts. Because you're going to be receiving a message. Why is somebody mentally and emotionally unstable? Please clarify this. Clarify mentally and emotionally unstable, please, Spirit. Huh. 
are going to prison. Someone's going to prison. And it, their status of high honor has changed. They're jealous and envious and very abusive towards you. This ice queen did nothing but create conflict in your life. Sending divine feminine, divine masculine, the evil eye. Could be sending you a message that's full of animosity. Somebody's pissed off that could go off in a message. Expecting voodoo to work. And someone who's all up in their thoughts could pop up and say hello. And it has to do with actual money here with this great fortune. Could be sending in a love offer here. To try and someone could be coming towards you to get in a relationship with you. Because they see you as a sweetheart and know that you've got money coming in towards you. It's for some of you, not all of you. If I'm mentally and emotionally unstable and in prison, that please spirit. What is this? I've got the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. So they were hoping for a whole new beginning regarding this great fortune, this Ace of Pentacles here. They've had to walk away from, from doing this. They're not getting good news about this. There's some kind of a delay or setback that's happened. Someone's feeling stagnant and drained right now. They've lost this opportunity. Someone's losing a lot of money. They're very greedy and overspending. They're for high honor and change. I've got a tower. So, it, they're in the tower, and it's going to change that whatever you were supposed to be given, you shall receive. There's chaos is brought on by sudden change here. They were creating a lot of illusions here with the Seven of Cups. Well, it's a completion of a cycle. The world is here. Now they're in the Nine of Swords. Clarify this abuse and this jealousy and envy. The universal balance is in your favor. We got the three of wands in reverse. Their hard work is not paying off. Someone could be stuck at home. They're very frustrated. Someone could be returning from traveling somewhere. Whatever this is that's going on, they're not going to reap the rewards of this. Because karma is here. The will is turning in your favor. They're very frustrated about this. Good fortune and change. Good karma is coming in. A positive change with this Ace of Wands and Ace of Pentacles. Seeing through the illusions, God's tower stepped in. And to shake this foundation to the core so that things could be seen and unveiled. A lot of karma. Clarify this Ice Queen in conflict. Clarify Ice Queen in conflict. Wow, the Five of Wands. So conflict over an investment. Some kind of investment that they have. It's competition. There's a lot of chaos and rivalry. Disagreements over this financial gain that they were trying to manifest. They're not going to see the fruits of their labor. Clarify Divine Feminine and the Evil Eye. Or divine Feminine, Divine Masculine being sent the evil eye. What is this? Who's doing this spirit? Oh, it's, we've got an Empress here. So you're an Empress energy. And it's being exposed. The truth is coming out. 
This divine feminine, divine masculine, and beautiful empress energy. You're a master manifester. Things are, you're drawing what you're trying to manifest towards you. The empress draws to her. She draws it in. She attracts. It's material wealth, luxury, having a beautiful, nurturing, motherly influence, and that can be for masculine as well. But everything will go well. It's good fortune coming in, being successful, being positive, having a positive mindset. The sun can also have to do with a child, so this could be going on since your childhood, or you could be um, a parent here and sending evil eye towards you and your children. Clarify this message of animosity. Oh, it lies. So the Ace of Swords in reverse. Someone's going to message you with a lie. Their failure. They are a failure. There's arguments that could be coming towards you in messages. Some kind of conflict. Could be from a Queen of Cups. Mother figure here. Very spiteful. Emotionally manipulative. Gaslighting you. They're not balanced in their emotions. They're irrational. This person's very spiteful. They can be acting very immature. This person could be unfaithful. Clarify expectation in voodoo. So expecting something that happened in the past since your childhood, the Six of Cups has to do with children that was being hidden, something that was hidden in the past, doing voodoo over it so that you wouldn't find out. This can also be past life karmic energies that you're balancing out energy with. Things are not what they seem. They've created a lot of illusion and definitely here with this Seven of Cups regarding this Ace of Pentacles and what should be given to you very deceptive but your intuition is telling you what's going on and you're trusting your intuition clarify thoughts and hello what is this someone could be having loving thoughts towards you and want to pop up and say hello or someone's just obsessed and can't get you off their mind because it's this freaking player over here yeah you're having to defend yourself from this person that could be coming towards you with some kind of an apology immaturity childish behavior then they're getting bad news it's very abusive full of envy a loss of innocence maybe you were hurt as a child by a father figure here that's for some of you not all of you but the page of cups reverse can be a loss of innocence and these people who are also seen as being held in high honor it's changing they're not innocent they're they're the culprits here they're the bad guy you've had to defend yourself and you're the wounded the wounded warrior here and you're coming out as this beautiful earth angel here in this balanced healed temperance energy an inner balance has been achieved you have self-restraint. The Page of Wands. So some kind of good news is going to arrive. And it's going to make you really excited. Beware of any kind of excessive behaviors right now. Don't be overindulgent in anything. Make sure that you're staying balanced. Um, if someone comes towards you and tries to become aggressive, don't react may need to call the police to intervene so that you don't have to react if someone tries to come towards you in hostile energy and trying to create a fight with you in this five of wands ice queen conflict energy and someone could have been paid to do this to travel towards you or someone's just invested in a very long time at creating conflict in your life what do we need from here
someone's been pretending and living beyond their means. This person's fake. We have divine feminine, divine masculine energy here. Someone could be coming in trying to negotiate something with you regarding this Ace of Pentacles. Someone could try and come towards you and beg you or bargain with you in some way because they're realizing that the truth has come out regarding a situation. And you're going to have awareness and find out something because something's going to be coming to the light. There could be a Divine Masculine here that's this detective that could be coming towards you to share something with you. You're receiving signs and synchronicities. 1111, 222, 333 could be significant. It could be something that you're seeing all the time. 444, 555. Well, you could end up being rescued by this person. Some kind of intervention and others involved. There's been a settlement. Some kind of an agreement or compromise has been reached. And someone's going to prison. They're in a mental prison, physical prison. They're, they feel confined and they're going to be in lockdown because it's come out again. And that's part of why they're mentally and emotionally unstable with the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. This person is a lost soul. Yeah, it came out again. And you could have ghosted and blocked these people and cut them off in some way. Gonna be losing their job, losing their finances. And with the occupation card, that's a wealthy person. That's a that's a high paying job. Yeah, they're closed in, they're trapped. They're frustrated. They're fed up. They don't want to hear it. Because now they're trapped. They need help. They're trapped. Something's coming out. They could be getting in their car trying to run to avoid the law. In the last reading, someone's trying to flee the country. And all they were focused on was retaliating against you, taking revenge to punish you. They want to pay you back because they don't want to have to give you this actual money over here. They don't want to have to give you this. They wanted it kept hidden from you. They didn't want you to fucking know about this. They didn't want you to find out. Wow. But you're coming out as a high priestess here. And this has to do with your family here. With family members. I'm burning up. I'm going to go turn the heater off. I'm having a hot flash. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Well, they're going to have to pay you back for what they've done. And anything that they've been trying to do to retaliate, they're coming against an earth angel. So it's just backfiring. It's coming back on them. Yeah, this person's a shapeshifter. Could have been mimicking you in some way. Divine intervention is here. Your guide stepped in to allow you to have time to heal and reflect. There's sirens going down my street. 3430, 343 could be significant. Yeah, someone was gambling. They took a chance on something here. And now it's done nothing but create heartbreak. They're shattered. Someone could have cheated on you and broken your trust. Trust your intuition. Follow your inner knowing. <clears throat> These people are blocked. They have obstacles now. And anyone that's trying to hook up with you and have a one night stand, they're blocked. 
because the snake is not what it looks like. So they were sending this person in to affect the safety and comfort in your home, trying to reconnect a relationship with you here. Well, these people are full of anxiety. They're worried now. They shouldn't have taken this risk. The truth is coming out. You're very honest. You could be speaking the truth about this and it's coming forward. Something to do with your home and your foundation. This could be an actual property or the people, they could be losing their home and foundation. Yeah, they're in hurting, agonizing pain over this. These people broke your trust. There's some kind of compromise. There's changes that are being made. They're full of fear and afraid. They're full of fear. And anyone that's coming towards you to try and hook up and have a one night stand in this snake ass fucking energy to have sex and a good time with you, it's not going to work. We've got the court situation here regarding your safety and comfort. Someone could come towards your house and try and hurt you, try and RAPE someone, could try and. Uh, make you feel uncomfortable in your home you could have to get the law involved this could even be a third party situation here this could even be someone that an ex is mixed up with that could be trying to come towards you to affect your safety and comfort and your happiness they could be traveling towards someone this could be family here that's trying to affect the security the safety and the comfort in your home Sending people towards you. Well, they regret this. They're full of mistakes that have been made. A lot of mistakes have been made. I was instantly drawn to fed up. They're over it. They're not having it. And they're frustrated. They don't want these secrets revealed. But an official person knows these secrets. And now they're trying to fix something. Divine timing has come out again. Divine intervention and divine timing. Believe in right timing. Everything is unfolding how it should They've been sending in strategic players here to come towards Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Could have even been trying to send people in to have a marriage with you. Could Someone could be in a false marriage. But I was instantly drawn, wow, to the spiritual seeker here with sending in lovers towards you, Divine Collective. These are enemies here. Watch your back. This could be a past soulmate relationship. and Soulmates can be family and exes. It's romantic or, pl or platonic. And you're just focusing on your spiritual awakening here. And it's giving you freedom. You've surrendered this energy so that you could heal. This player here is always partying. They like to have fun. Something unexpected, but God's tower has hit. They this came out of nowhere. So all of a sudden, they didn't expect it. They're realizing the mistake that they've made. And they want to compromise because they're blocked. Some of you, this person could have gone out and met someone new or you could be ready to start dating and meeting someone new. And for those of you that are a new, sacred union is going to start coming towards you. This person that you had a breakup with, they thought the grass was greener on the other side. But now they're having to look for what's hidden with this enemy here and read between the lines because now they don't know what the fuck to do. But it was a faded meeting. It was an important connection because this is karma that's being cleared that... that had to be dealt with and now you've blocked these people from your energy and they don't like this they don't know what you're up to they're afraid because you've changed so much in your ascension here that whatever they were lying about and saying to the courts it's it's not holding up in the courts they're perjuring themselves yeah because you have had a major change in transition and this change with high honor here 
and all they did was abuse you. They're jealous and envious, sending in non-committal people towards you. You're very independent. You're single, celibate, not in a relationship. That's for most of my collective that watches me. And you're just healing and releasing this energy. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. And you could be, you know, moving around in silence, not showing your true self. And you're just getting ready to pop out. And someone, we, have, we could have a whole new Divine Connection here that could be, you know, not showing how much they truly love someone there could be a whole new union that's getting ready to come in for some of the collective yeah just focus on your inner peace receive the signs from the universe the signs and the synchronicities look up the meanings you ghosted and pulled a disappearing act on these karmic people from the past because all they did was lie and keep secrets from you and it all has to do regarding this money here money's on the mind it's all about the finances and they're lying about it and you know that they're lying about it and you've pulled your energy back from these people to protect yourself Someone could be overindulgent. Someone could ask if you want to get together and have a drink. This bartender here so they could put something in your drink. And then end up putting you in the hospital. They want you lonely and disappointed. They want you isolated. Your parents here could be behind this. They want to be triumphant and keeping this money from you. They want to have a victory and achievement. Could be trying to send entities to attach to you, but the higher you ascend, yeah, entities, fucking demons to come in and fight with you and try and kick your ass. Got me fucked up. You're kicking these demons' ass. Yeah, trying to fight with you, this sweetheart here, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. That was the whole goal. They, they wanted to be okay and have your stability and security for themselves. Well, now they're worried. They're confused about a decision that they made they're having to hesitate because they bribed someone and now they're getting ready to lose everything that they own some of, we've got homeless coming out here again and you're just sleeping good at night you're like fuck this shit somebody could be sick somebody could have a disease somebody could be weak or frail in the hospital there could be a court case going on you could end up being in some kind of a lawsuit it's for some of you not all of you well all this bullshit that they were strategizing about they're scared to death now because now they're they're trapped and they don't know what to do and they can't stand it because you love yourself you're ascending someone could be passing away and if someone passes away i'm so sorry for your loss they formed a whole alliance here a whole network of people here that got into some kind of binding contract and commitment now they're all fucking pissed because this is blowing up in their face. They weren't able to trap you and make you a victim to them any longer with this strategy here. And it was all because they were wanting to gain this profit from you. They want to compromise with you in some way. This whole collaboration of people here. They're going to have no choice but to quit. Your awakening is profound. You're laying down things that and vices that no longer serve you. And you're rejecting this energy. Some kind of a big surprise or a miracle with good news is getting ready to occur. Anything else? Whatever is going on, it's stopping. And if they were trying to come after you and unalive you, they're being stopped. It's not going to happen. They're not going to be able to trap you and take you out so that they can have your money. They could be saying that you have mental health problems. Well, these people are all stressed out now because they're saying it's not true. That you're of sound mind. That you're calm. You're peaceful. You're meditating. You have inner and outer peace.
We have God and an exorcist. <laughs> These motherfuckers need an exorcism, okay? God is exorcising the demons. We have a queen here who's a storyteller. So it's going to be a mother figure here that's a storyteller. Got a judge on the bottom of the deck. Someone could be trying to bully a judge. You're an eternal child of God and they could be saying that you're a rebel to this judge. Bullying you to this judge. Yeah, we've got a saboteur trying to sabotage your life before this court situation here. You're just coming out as a visionary, an eternal child of God. Well, these demons that need to be exercised here are telling all kinds of fucking stories. There's a mother figure here. And this judge can also be like an eternal child that good energy lands under this judge. This is not a corrupt judge. The light attribute. I'm just going to go across and read everything. Benevolence and compassion, recognizing the eternal force within yourself and others. Freeing yourself and others of destructive impulses. Radiates the regal feminine. Uses her, be her benevolent authority to protect others. Balancing justice and compassion. Managing the fair distribution of power. Determination to remain young in body, mind, and spirit. Ability to see things with fresh eyes. Highlights your tendency to intimidate others. Helps you confront the inner fears that bully you. Highlights your fear of self-empowerment and the changes it would bring to your life. Capacity to envision what is not yet conceivable to others. Willingness to proclaim a vision without regard for personal gain. So this is how the Divine Collective is being seen in the Light Attribute. Now let's read the Shadow Sod. Despotism and cruelty. Using power to control people. Fear of facing your own demons. Becomes arrogant when authority is challenged. Controlling and demanding. Making up tales that harm others. And that's exactly what the fuck they're doing. Offering only destructive criticism. Misusing business, legal, or criminal authority. Inability to grow up and be responsible. Extreme dependency on others for physical security. And they could have kept you in that state to where it was hard for you growing up. And even into your adulthood. Putting you in situations that kept you codependent. Because they wanted you in that low vibrational frequency. So that you wouldn't tap into the eternal child of God that you truly are. So that you wouldn't stand in your power. Because then they couldn't control this narrative and the stories anymore. And all they do is lie and make up all kinds of bullshit to keep you in a state of harm. Conceals deep fears behind verbal or physical abuse. And they definitely could have done that towards you with family members and with romantic relationships. I don't know that's what happened in my situation. Rejects legitimate authority out of anger. Rebels out of peer pressure or fashion. Induces self-destructive behavior or the desire to undermine others. Selling insights to the highest bidder. Compromising your vision to make it more acceptable. So, don't lower yourself to fit into their manipulation tactics. God is keeping any entities away from you and from attaching to you. You're going in, doing that inner work, facing those inner demons, and becoming one with your darkness, telling your story, standing strong in, in your divine authority, Speaking your truth in a beautiful queen, king energy. You could be like an eternal child in spiritual court here before God. 
being judged before God. You could have called judgment on these people that these demons that are fucking with you and bullying you trying to sabotage your life and anything that you're trying to build. I need from here, spirit. We have yarn, Sagittarius energy, hassles, problems, a big mess, interconnected, complicated, patience is needed regarding future gains, trying to work it out, a made up story, many working components, mischief, and it's out of control. So they have weaved one big fucking web here, and it's all about this abundance. Grapes with Virgo energy, abundance and bearing fruit, harvest, fertility, merriment and prosperity, surplus, fullness, juicy, overindulgence, tempting, goodness, plentiful, has to do with wealth and enjoying the fruits of your labor. So, many moving parts, a lot of people involved, patience has definitely been needed. There's a lot of hassles. It's a huge fucking mess and it's out of control. Someone's trying to work out this made up fucking story that they told. And it's all about this wealth and abundance that they're trying to keep from you. It's a coin toss. Virgo energy again. And then a person of Earth. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Heavy Virgo energy. It's making choices. It's either or being fair considering the pros and cons its fate is unfolded it's a fated event something making something equal there's two sides to every story and your story your side's not even been able to come out yet you're starting to speak your truth you may be asked your side of the story soon it's a butterfly effect either way it's a 50 50 chance something is unpredictable they can't decide and someone's taking a chance on something here so they took a chance they took a gamble. They took a risk to do this and to keep this from you. They could have tried to keep you in a state of homelessness, hungry, in solitude, unemployed, dealing with bankruptcy, and struggle with your finances, keeping you in bad health, always having to make you change everything all the time and constantly adapt to situations and so much conflict and always sending these into these entities towards you that God is keeping away from you as you were going on your path it was just nothing but conflict Con the, your whole path was just so fucking hard the person of earth is the provider and caregiver being grounded secure stubborn nurturing classy stable prosperous materialistic possessive and dependable someone could be a manager a business owner work in banking or a ceo of a company we have a baby so you could be this person's child or your children could be involved where they've been attacking your children as well aries cancer libra and capricorn energy it's cardinal signs it's new beginnings rapid growth a fresh start you have unlimited potential you're innocent continuing the legacy someone is needy it's about warmth and purity a new phase is unfolding a birth of a child could occur someone could be pregnant congratulations and it's being vulnerable And you're like this beautiful phoenix rising scorpio energy it's a death and rebirth you're going through a major transformation you're an eternal soul you're resurrected having a renewal and rebirth destroying what no longer serves you you've been destroyed and now you're rising from the ashes as you emerge into a new era you're an alchemist and you can transmute the energy turn that pain into power to heal yourself as you're ascending the end is just the beginning We have constellation, 
cancer energy, it's network and support, associates gathered, meetings and socializing, an organization, an arrangement, a collection, exchanging data, influence, and in connection with a large amount or quantity. And that could be regarding this Ace of Pentacles, this, all this money here. We got spilled milk, Pisces energy. Now they regret, they're in regret, an accident has happened. Don't sweat the small stuff. It's making mistakes and leaving something in the past. It's over. It cannot be changed. Someone is very disappointed. It's clean up time. Let go. There's minor problems that have occurred. Someone's got their blinders on. We've got Libra energy. Someone could have a horse. Someone could have a little black and white dog. Someone could really like grapes. Someone could have a coin collection. Someone could drink a lot of milk. Someone could be very much into astrology and all about the stars. having a victim mentality and confusion it's having tunnel visit uh, tunnel vision resisting clarity it's confirmation bias restriction a narrow focus an echo chamber being in denial and oblivious out of touch hyper focus and concentration someone could say that that you know you're out of touch with the reality that you're that you have mental health problems, that you're not clear in your mind, that you're confused, that what you're saying is not true, they're in denial. They wanted you oblivious to what was going on. It could have kept you in tunnel vision to keep you, like, distracted from what was really going on. We've got the handcuffs here, Virgo energy. It's being in control, defenseless, being targeted. Or having a target, making someone a target. Someone could be handicapped, being held back. It's prey, P R E Y, preying on something or someone. Someone could be a predator, it's suppressing something, needing to break free, detained by external forces. Someone's getting arrested. Applying force, they could get hurt from resisting arrest and having to apply force. Someone could be incapacitated and they have to handcuff them to incapacitate them or someone could be handicapped and incapacitated in that way something is being submitted and someone is feeling powerless right now What do we need from this deck, Spirit? Someone could have school aged children, like younger children. Someone could be going back to school. We're definitely on Earth school. This could be like a karmic um, life lesson that's balancing out here. School aged children. And it lands right under this yarn and this baby. With a parental figure here. But organized crime. It's a secret. But they're an organized crime unit here. Somebody likes to party all the time. And they are very abusive and neglectful. Someone could be saying that you're a liar. They don't want their secrets coming out. So they could say that you party all the time and that you're abusive and that you're that you could be neglectful to your children. That you're not a good parent. Well, we've got law enforcement here. Someone's having to meet with law enforcement. Operation Mockingbird, a government controlled media here. Okay, 
Operation Mockingbird is an alleged large scale program of the United States CIA that began in the early years of the Cold War and attempted to manipulate domestic Americans news radio news media organizations for propaganda purposes. Its wiretapping operation initiated by JFK to identify the sources of government leaks by eavesdropping on the communication of journalists, false stories or embellished stories. So they could be trying to lie to law enforcement to what they're actually doing and what actually is going on. It's an organized crime unit that they want to be kept secret. And they don't want all this coming out. It cannot be changed. It's over. They could be doing market manipulation here. Someone could have a private property somewhere. Kind of about this earth sign crying over spilled milk. They're crying over spilled milk because they're going to fucking prison. Doesn't have to be an earth sign. You could be an earth sign. You just look at how it resonates or someone that you're dealing with could be an earth sign. Doesn't have to be. It's just the energy that came out. They're angry. And it has to do with life insurance. Life insurance policy here that they're going to prison over. They were a false person on a life insurance policy here. And this is just pure corruption. This corrupt organized crime syndicate here. They're just evil. Using mind control. It's your family here. We've got communication on the bottom of the deck. So you could be receiving some kind of communication. Or if these family members here try to reach out. They're just trying to fuck with your mind. To control you. And they could have been trying to use mind control and bullshit tactics, false news and information to law enforcement. And they're extremely abusive towards you. And it's profound how much you've transformed your soul. You're like unrecognizable to these people is what I'm hearing. You've changed so much. And now they're confused on how this is happening. Because for so long, for so many years, all of the lies that they told, it's just not adding up. You've never had a chance to defend yourself. Perfect. Family here. Yeah, I'm sending in two of cups unions here with nothing but confusion and illusion in your partnerships. Someone could be going through a breakup. You're rejecting someone because you love yourself. You're disinterested in any bad communication. You've withdrawn from people. You're focusing on beautiful connections and not ones that are unhealthy for you. Cancer energy and Pisces energy. For Oh, I said the Seven of Cups. This is the Nine of Cups. So they don't want your wishes fulfilled. They don't want you content or rich in your emotions. They don't want you to have your life's abundance. They don't want you to have any achievements, recognition, satisfaction, or pleasure in your life. They want you unhappy. They, they want you unfulfilled. They're greedy. They could say that you're lazy. That you have negative indulgences. That you overindulge. That you drink too much. Or that you have substance abuse problems. They could say that you're ungrateful. That you're a disappointment to them. That you're an underachiever. Whoever this is, they're fucking arrogant. Pisces energy. And you're just the star here. You're just in this beautiful earth angel light worker star being energy here. Aquarius energy. You're, you're a healing. You're a healer for some of you. It's focusing on your spirituality. You have inner clarity and inner knowing. You have so much faith. You believe in miracles because they you see them happen all the time because the Most High God shows them to you. You're an inspiration. You're full of positivity and healing energy and you're focusing on your purpose. We've got a King of Swords here. It's 
person is could be someone in authority they're truthful Libra Gemini Aquarius they're very truthful they're disciplined someone could be making a head over heart decision they have integrity they're serious they're strict they're disciplined they stand in their truth they're very intelligent it's an authority figure they're disciplined and they have high standards think of like Archangel Michael energy and someone could have been very irrational and like a dictator and controlling towards you and in your life they were inhumane manipulative they abused their power they were very cold and ruthless towards you very dishonest they lie all the time coming at you with this conflict with this five of swords energy just doing everything that they can to disturb your peace to disturb you in any way that they possibly could keeping things obscure they see you as an irritation they disagree with you they're very competitive they think it's unfair that you've defeated them they were trying to win at all costs now they're very stressed they're hostile they're aggressive they're bullies and they're intimidated because the the courts here with this king of swords and the hierophant this could be some this could even be this judge here that came out the five of swords is aquarius heavy aquarius right here heavy like all water sun energy and then the sword so it's very much in their thoughts regarding their emotions they're all up in their head they can't like they can't think straight they're fucked up in their mind over what's happening they're having an emotional meltdown right now they haven't even allowed you to have a fair fight there's going to be some kind of a resolution. It's people regret what they've done because they've been caught. They were corrupt. They challenge authority. They think they're above the law. And all they wanted was to keep you in a ten of wands. Just totally burdened. Sagittarius energy always wanted you exhausted feeling burnout and struggling all the time because they all they wanted to do is sacrifice you and burden you the hanged man it's Pisces You're having to surrender so that you can have a new perspective had to let go and sacrifice a lot in order for you to ascend learning the art of detachment letting go of what no longer serves you coming out of any victim mentality you're not going to be sacrificed God's not going to allow it because they've tried to the ten of swords the ten of swords in your back it's ultimate betrayal they stabbed you in the back. Gemini energy and all of this. The Ten of Swords, Three of Swords. This is literal death here with the Hangman. This is a death plot. They're under judgment for this. They wanted to create a very painful ending for you. Could have wanted to leave you to bleed out somewhere. Wanted you absolutely exhausted. Could be a deep wound. They see you as a failure. But they're the fucking failures. They're jealous of who you are. They're jealous of your divinity. They wanted you heartbroken and full of emotional pain. Full of sorrow and trauma. They wanted you hurt and depressed and broken. So that way they could control you. Libra energy. The Ten of Swords is Gemini. And judgment. is Capricorn well it's the end of the cycle a final decision has been made these people are facing a serious wake-up call right now you've entered your inner calling and focusing on your life purpose you're evaluating yourself and awakening a day of reckoning is here these people still have unfinished lessons because they've not learned the lessons you're learning the lessons they're loathing you 
they're ignoring and resisting the universe they have a f absolute failure to learn their lessons and they've sacrificed themselves and you're gonna have victory and rewards and success over this you're standing here in the six of wands Leo energy could have public recognition have self-confidence in this victory you're triumphing over this be sure that you praise the Most High God and your guides for helping you. Someone's going to have to give up. They're operating out of a state of ego and they're not going to reap these rewards any longer. They're not going to be able to achieve this. Someone wants to keep something private and not out in the public eye, but it's going to be in the spotlight. And it could be because they don't want people to know that they're getting arrested and and going to jail in these handcuffs here yeah they want they want people to keep their blinders on they don't want people to see that this whole corrupt organization here this family here is getting ready to go to jail and be arrested for what they've done for all this conflict regarding this ace of pentacles eight of swords and the five of wands with the ace of pentacles they're going to jail disagreeing over it's the world it's the end of the cycle it's over it's done doesn't matter what they want it's, it's over with they're refusing to close out a life cycle here they haven't learned or completed their current soul lessons and they're going to have to repeat it because they failed fucking miserably they could be in a mental prison. They're aggressive. Your egos clash with these people. You're not operating out of your state of ego. These people are extremely aggressive and narcissistic. They're your rivals. All they do is create challenges and obstacles and tension in your life. You disagree with these people. You can't get along. Now they're in this victim mentality like, Oh, poor pitiful me. They can't handle what they dish out. They want all this to happen to you. They think it's funny what's going on with you. But now that it's, the tables are turned and the karmic wheel is turning, they don't think it's so funny anymore. They're in a self-imposed prison. They've put themselves here. They've got very negative thoughts because they feel trapped and helpless and powerless now. And they know that they've sacrificed themselves. They can't make you the victim anymore. You have freedom you have a new awareness. You've released and surrendered this energy. You're a survivor. You're being liberated. You face your fears and you've escaped what these people are trying to do towards you because you're so protected. The Eight of Swords is Gemini. The Five of Wands is Leo. And the Ace of Pentacles is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And then the world is... Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, and Scorpio could be significant. Okay. What is the collective need for their highest good spirit? Close this out, please. Beautiful souls, you inspire and uplift others. You're a beautiful soul, you're a light worker, you're a star seed, you're an earth angel energy here. Angel of wisdom, pursue knowledge and spiritual growth. Your guides want you to just focus on your soul growth in your journey right now. Believe in yourself, believe in yourself and follow your dreams. And your guides are going to help you with that. You're a Midas star. Luck is on your side. Let the magic happen. Your guides are helping you powerfully manifest and transmute any energy that's no longer serving you or the highest good for all. Heaven's messages. Your ancestors are here. Your loved ones in heaven want you to know that they are safe, protected, and reunited with family and friends. And your loved ones are watching over you and helping you on your journey. 
Focus on your calling. Your life's purpose is like an awakening to put your gifts and talents to good use and enjoy the journey of life. That's so beautiful. Miracles out of mistakes. Use your mistakes to inspire and empower you to face brighter days ahead. Yeah, everything happens for a reason. There's no mistakes. What happened was because you were supposed to deal with it and heal from it and learn from it and grow from it and then apply it as you move forward to the next parts of your journey. You're learning new skills. Education is the most powerful personal resource you can use to change your life and the world. So they say knowledge is power. As you're awakening, you gain an absolute thirst for knowledge you want to learn so much stuff you start researching esoteric knowledge in the metaphysical realm and it's just profound what you start finding out self-fulfilling prophecy take small steps to diminish your worrying know it is going to be okay and so it is everything's going to be okay everything's going to work out in divine timing your guys just want you to rejuvenate take time to rest and recharge your batteries yeah don't feel guilty whenever you're resting and take that time to heal. Surrender your battles. The angels are asking you to hold your peace and surrender the battle to them. And a lot of yellow energy here, which is the solar plexus. So they could have been trying to harvest from your solar plexus chakra. Your guides are helping restore your power and your energy. As you go in and rest and rejuvenate and retreat into your sacred space and be one with spirit, Seek and receive consolation from God to overcome a difficult experience. This is a time for reflection, solitude, and contemplation. Yeah, so go in and, and have your alone time with God. Over, give up any distractions to spirit to help you stay focused. Control your thoughts and actions to help you stay focused. So you could be dealing with distractions to try and keep you from doing things um, that you enjoy and that you need to be focusing on. Archangel Gabriel is here. Gabriel guides your creativity. And that's operating with a healthy sacral chakra. And maybe creative energies are going to start flowing back to you at once um, your energy is being restored when you rest and rejuvenate. Take responsibility for your own happiness. Yes, we're all in charge of our own happiness. No one else is in charge of that for us. We have Archangel Michael here. Michael provides protection and strength, and you are divinely protected by your guides. You've got new beginnings coming in. Something new begins today. Embrace the possibilities. And it's definitely embracing a positive, new, beautiful mindset, too. A surprise is on the horizon. Expect a nice surprise from Team Spirit. From your spirit guides here are getting ready to bless you with something. Work together as a team. Co cooperation, enthusiasm, loyalty, and kindness will ensure a successful outcome. Use your discernment and follow your intuition because your guides are communicating with you and you're working together as a team with your spirit guides. Look up and look forward. Welcome new developments for positive change. Thank you, Spirit. So your guides are right here with you. They're all over this. And they're working hard behind the scenes. And be sure that you're always saying thank you to Spirit for everything that they're doing. Because a lot of things they're doing, you don't even realize that they're doing it. But they don't ever stop. They work 24-7 on your behalf and everything that's going on. And they know everything that's going on behind the scenes in ways that we don't. That's why we're sitting here doing readings trying to figure it out. <laughs> Witnessing a shooting star across the night sky is always an uplifting experience. We know it's more than just a momentary gift from the spiritual world. It's a promise of profound change to come. So you could even see a shooting star. And it could be a sign that a blessing from your guides are getting, it's getting ready to come through. Everyone and all living things have auras, visual manifestations, and the angel of energy surrounding us. By raising your vibrational energy and training your eyes, you will be able to see auras. 
and then here's the colors of the chakra systems that are in the body that's the main seven there's a lot more than just those seven chakras but those are your main seven and they need to be in their perfect balanced healthy state and that helps you if you're not in alignment your chakras are all screwed up you're not in alignment and so you've got to get into alignment to be able to receive what the universe wants to bring in for you Appearing in your yard with his brilliant red plumage and his heavenly songs, the cardinal is a blessed sign that an angel is paying you a visit. So you may be seeing uh, cardinals, red birds right now. Archangel Michael, guardian of the earth realm, clears away energy when we are struggling. His presence is often signaled by indigo orbs or sparkles of light. You might observe purple flowers or feel attracted to amethyst gemstones. So Archangel Michael is definitely here with you right now. At times, angels announce their arrival by the flutter of their wings, which feels like a sudden gentle breeze, even when the windows are closed. Embrace their, their presence and burn white candles to bring in their angelic flame with white candle light. And it'll raise the vibrational frequency inside your home. Let's pull an angel number, and then we're going to roll the dice. So, just be patient as this is unfolding. The corruption is being exposed. Pluto, where it is stationed, is definitely helping with that. Mercury's in retrograde. All kinds of communications and things could go awry. So, just be careful whenever you're communicating, whenever you're sending a message to someone triple check that bitch to make sure that you're talking to the right person could be problems with your cars with you know transportation don't do any major life decision life choices changes or decisions during a retrograde and um, don't sign any contracts don't don't be um, wearing rose colored glasses to people coming back around from the past because people from the past tend to circle back around during mercury retrograde cultivate cultivate positive attitude solutions and inspire cultivate a positive attitude towards life look for the good in every situation and focus on the solutions rather than the problems surround yourself with positive people who inspire and uplift you 6363 five 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 major changes are coming in it's talents discover talents passions comfort zone and surprise discover your hidden talents and passions explore new hobbies and interests push yourself out of your comfort zone you might surprise yourself with what you're capable of so beautiful new creative expression could be opening up for you to where you're going to push yourself out of your comfort zone and start tapping into to untapped talents or things that you used to really enjoy that you just haven't felt like having the energy to do could be reigniting right now we have 6868 expand knowledge expand wisdom and skills never stop seeking knowledge and expanding your horizon exactly read extensively attend workshops and engage in meaningful conversations to continuously enhance your wisdom and skills so you may really enjoy reading and studying cultivating your talents and you could even be studying on something that you really enjoy doing to help um, increase how you are with whatever that is that you enjoy all right Aquarius Cancer Virgo Virgo again the number two five four nine mercury so communication the moon something that was hidden 
going to be made known we've got the north node dharma is coming in which is good karma you're being blessed dharma for good deeds and then i think this is venus no this is this is mars i'm sorry this is mars energy so hostile volatile aggressive could be very nasty communication a lot of harsh words fighting in communication and arguments could be coming in uh 24 25 29 42 45 49 52 54 59 92 94 95 22 44 55 and 99 life path 2 4 5 and 9 could be significant february 2nd february 4th february 5th february 9th April 2nd, April 4th, April 5th, April 9th, May 2nd, May 4th, May 5th, May 9th, September 2nd, September 4th, September 5th, and September 9th could be significant. Aries, Aquarius, Pisces, Capricorn, Sagittarius, wow, Sagittarius three times. And Pisces, Sagittarius again, Capricorn, Libra, and uh, Pisces. Scorpio twice, Pisces, Gemini, I'll do it one more time, Aquarius, Libra, and Cancer twice. Alright guys, so this is going to be our reading. You guys just take this how it resonates. Don't force anything to fit. Only take what's yours and leave the rest for who it's for. Please use your intuition and your discernment on what parts of the reading are for you. And don't ever force anything to fit and take that energy on for yourself whenever it's not yours you don't want it so don't bring it into your energy all right i hope that you'll please hit that like button for me and hit that subscribe button i would love to have you as a subscriber on the channel thank you all for viewing my content i love you collective bye